there's LG1151, but you might be thinking, what the f is that? This is a Gigabyte motherboard. Now, I'm going to be explaining what is on the motherboard and what you have to look out for on the motherboard. Starting over here is the RAM slots. Yep, this is a DDR4 RAM slot, and some computers may have DDR3 and DDR2, so you have to make sure that it is DDR4 or whatever DDR you have. This motherboard is DDR4 with our RAM, DDR4. Coming over to the CPU side, there, here is an LGA 1151 socket. Chipset is a H110. Here is where the CPU goes in. So this is the CPU. There's LGA 1151, but you might be thinking, what the fuck is that? And what it is, is 1151 is the CPU socket. This, the CPU right here, the LJ1151, it is a Intel Celeron 2.90 gigahertz G3930. When you're installing it, you have to have no force. Just let drop, make sure it's in place. Pull this latch down, put this latch over here and then your CPU is installed now this socket you and for all the other sockets you have to make sure that it's going in the right way on here and on the CPU there's going to be this arrow and over here it goes into the dot thing over here and I noticed there's an arrow so just, just gently push it in. Well, not push it, but just drop, kind of put it in. Close this and then put on this. This is DDR4 RAM. Now, you could choose your, your size. This is a four gigabyte DDR4 RAM, but you could go up to 64 gigabytes. And yet, you have to make sure that your motherboard supports it because some motherboards only go up to 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes. So you have to make sure. This one, I have no idea, but this makes sure when you're doing it. Sometimes DDR4 can do just one latch coming out. Sometimes it's two, but for this one, it's just one. When you're putting in one slot of RAM and you're not putting in the second, which we are not, Put it in the farthest away from the CPU because then it's going to give the CPU breathing like space. So make sure the notch is in the right place on the, on the RAM. Then push down on each side. When that snaps in, it's all ready. So the RAM is in. So right now we have an, the Intel Celeron CPU and our DDR4 RAM already installed. Oh, CPU cooler. Now, you can't just leave the CPU here or it'll catch on fire if it's not cooled by something. Now, here is the Intel stock cooler. It has a heatsink plus a fan. Now, you have to make sure the wires are in the right space so it's not like it's over here and you're trying to reach over there. So, pla carefully place the fan cooler onto the four holes included in your motherboard. And then plug in the fan on the white spot, the white four pin spot. If your fan is four pin, just push it in. Whoops. Push it in. There's this little thing right here. You have to make sure that your your fan slides into it. Okay, now, this part you have to be very careful about. These push pins, they could break if you push them into the wrong space. So make sure all four of your pins 
are um, pushed into the are in the motherboard. Then push down one by one. This one pushing down. That one doesn't seem to be pushing down. Make sure that the arrows are facing into the CPU. Now, when pushing it in, they're, they're not pushing it in. I don't know why they're not pushing it in. What, and what this does is the heat sink puts all the heat from the CPU out. Well, well, before that, there's thermal paste on the CPU. It comes included with this cooler, but there's thermal paste on the CPU. It makes contact with the heat sink. That's what transfers the heat to the heat sink. Then this fan blows it so it's not going up, it's going out the sides of it, out the heat sink. And that's how the heat is removed from it. And then your case fan will get it out of the case and then cool air will come back in. Now we're on to the storage drive. This is a Kingston um, 60 gigabyte SSD. Now these are the, f these are second fastest in the market. The fastest, if you see here, right here is an M.2 SSD, but, well, it's not an SSD. You, you put in a little SSD that screws in here directly to the motherboard, and it goes faster than this normal SSD, but this is still very fast. This plugs into like this. Oh, important notice. The, if you see SATA tables with the ones going this way and then this way, like a 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle only goes into the storage drive or else something will happen. I, I never, ex never knew because it never happened, but let's plug it into the motherboard. If you're using one, just put in number zero or one because that's the main one. Then plug this one into the SSD. Like that. Oh, and also, yet there is these things. There's a 90 degree angle and a straight. Make sure it goes matches up with this. And for ones that they have this lock, which this one does, you push down on it and then release. 